This is the British Columbia Football Conference. We are talking to recently anointed Kamloops Broncos head coach Rob Ellis. Rob, thanks for doing this. Thanks for having me. So first thing, we're in uh, Kelowna, not in Kamloops. What brings you to Kelowna? Uh, helping out with the ABC Border Bowl, uh, one of the OCs for the, uh, the OC for the Rising Stars. Uh, so helping them uh, with recruiting and uh, tryouts. Uh, we're in Kelowna today. They'll be in Kamloops tomorrow. Tell us about the uh, Border Bowl. Exactly what is it for people that don't know? Uh, Border Bowl is uh, run by Ron, Dia Ron Diaz. It's a uh, Competes uh, has uh, competitors from Alberta and BC that play against each other in a, in a border bowl type setting that they do in North Dakota and South Dakota. Um, so just basically, we get representatives from the province, from both provinces, and we compete on uh, in May for uh, in five different age groups. So let's just step back, uh, refresh our memory. When did you uh, come on as the Broncos head coach? Uh, this year, just after a uh, meeting in January, uh, I expressed my interest and, uh, and uh, was, was lucky enough to be uh, offered the position. And you've mentioned this year, this is your second go around as, as Broncos head man. Just uh, refresh everybody's memory what the last time was, uh, how long, that sort of thing. Uh, Ten years ago, actually, uh, yeah, a decade ago. Uh, so um, back then, uh, Brad Yamoku, who's uh, the former head coach, was one of my uh, one of my coaches on staff, and uh, uh, we had a really good run. Stephen Reed uh, was there my first year. I took on the offense coordinator job, and then took the head coaching position right after that. And uh, we had uh, some success. And uh, unfortunately, because of uh, back issues, I had to uh, had to step down from that uh, until things healed. And uh, and I got the okay from my wife to do it again. So. So your, your back's healthy, but you're a little grayer now than you were 10 years ago. Oh, geez, looking at that old video footage, I, yeah, a little a little older, yeah. But I don't know if it? I have less hair, but uh, yeah. But wiser. Sorry? But wiser. But wiser, yeah, well, some people would argue that fact, but. Uh, <laughs> so uh, just, again, just uh, just tell everybody who you are, your your, your uh, high school uh, principal. I'm a high school, I uh, know, elementary principal on Armstrong. Okay. Uh, it's my 20th year in this uh, SD83. Um, 32nd year coaching. Uh, I feel a little old. Two of the head coaches of the uh, other junior programs are former players of mine, so uh, I've, I've done this for quite a while and I'm looking forward to uh, continuing it this year. So you're making the commute from Armstrong to Kamloops. That is a long drive every day. Yeah, I live in Salmon Arm actually, so yeah, so yeah, working at, working in Armstrong, I get home now. As long as I walk the dogs, the wife's okay with it. So, uh, you know, I, I love the sport and I love the junior programs uh, and the junior league. Uh, like I've said, I've been part of it since 1982, I believe. So uh, off and on. So I'm looking forward to uh, another stint at the, at the head coaching position. Uh, just kind of telling the story to players and parents from players in the prairies you might be, uh, you will be recruiting. Probably it is a different dynamic than what they're used to in, the, in a smaller city where everybody is, is so close together or even a larger city where they live 20 minutes apart. Mm -hmm. You see this dedication from a, from a high school football coach, a junior football coach, as much out of necessity as anything because there's not a lot of football in town anymore. No, the football in Kamloops used to be huge. I mean, uh, most of the Sun's success back in the 80s and probably early 90s was because of the Kamloops kids that uh, went to play for them. Um, but we're down to one varsity program, I believe. Um, so recruiting is one of our top uh, top uh, jobs right now to get uh, to get our uh, the word out there that we're, we've got lots of space open, that we're, we're competitive, uh, we want to stay competitive. Uh, uh, we always refer back to, you know, we lost to Langley by five points. and. Uh, our last game against them. So um, right now we just need to get our get our name back out there and make sure that kids uh, find us as vi a viable option for their uh, junior career. Let's talk about the Broncos more. You're inheriting uh, an 0-10 team, yeah. but a team that was more often than not competitive last season. Um, what, what, what is your goal this year? Is, is, is it one of yeah, I don't want to put words in mouth, but just what are you hoping to accomplish? I think what we're trying to accomplish is stability in the program and, and some su some success. I mean, um, we set our goals as smart goals so that we're not you know we're not going to win the the BCFC this year, but we do want to uh, stay competitive and we do want to win some games. And I think in order to do that, we need to keep our base the way it is. We're one of the youngest teams in in, in the BCFC. Um, you know, I think we averaged 19 years of age. So keeping that core players. Uh, uh, in the program, making sure that we're bringing in uh, peripheral play players to support them is probably our biggest thing. So, uh, yeah, the viability of our program needs to be uh, needs to be out there. I was up at the uh, Broncos annual general meeting on Wednesday. And we talked briefly about that 
it's the idea, not an idea, it's a fact that only one of the six teams in British Columbia is going to win a championship and only one of the 18 or 19 teams across the country is going to win a championship. Right. So uh, I'm glad that you're going to be going after the type of player that wants to to build as a junior football player rather than maybe somebody that's looking to win a championship. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that we can offer that maybe the other programs can't be uh, is the ability to start right away or get significant playing time as an 18, 19 year old. Um, just for the fact that uh, we're so young already. Um, so that's one great thing that we can offer kids. The other two are you know, we have a huge trade school and we work hand in hand with TRE, right, to, to offer those student athletes in education also. So um, building that recruiting portfolio is number one on our, on our list of things to do and getting the people involved in that. We have uh, two people that that's what they're focusing on right now. Um, and that's already played dividends. We've already uh, had some interest from the, the prairies and from back east. So. So you're, you're coaching a, a bit of a rebuilding junior football team, but uh, one area that you play second fiddle to no one is Hillside Stadium in Kamloops. Yeah. No, nobody can uh, nobody can outdo our facilities at, in Kamloops. I mean, the stadium itself is amazing, but the change rooms, the uh, the weight rooms, all the uh, the meeting rooms that we have to offer, uh, is second to none. Um, I think every team in the uh, in the in the league would admit to uh, to that that uh, our facilities are pretty pretty spectacular. And if you've ever been to one of our games, uh, you know our night games uh, at the stadium, it, it, there's no better venue. So yeah, no, that's one thing that we can really really uh, really push. And then Kamloops in itself, it's a small city. Under, am I wrong? Under, under 100,000 people. Or yeah, under yeah, it's around 50,000. I so believe for a player relocating from Ontario or the Prairies, it's. it's Kind of a neat small town big town feel um, and a, a nice way to keep the team tight yeah it is it's, a, it's got lots of amenities uh, in town that they would find in the bigger cities but it's also smaller in the fact that uh, you know there's the everybody pretty much knows a lot of the key players in the city too so um, we work hand in hand with the Blazers and they're, they're key supporters of us and and you know having a junior hockey team there too is amazing so um, the kids there's lots of things for the kids to do the players to do and uh, again with TRU and the trade school right there uh, lots of education uh, uh, for them to, to take part in. Now, let's talk a little bit about your coaching staff uh, we have on tap what, what are you uh, offense, offensively, we're great. We've got uh, Jeremy White returning as the OC, uh, and uh, we've got a, a couple other coaches that are coming back. Uh, uh, Brad Yamoka being one of them. It's going to be doing our running backs and our special teams. So, really, really happy with that. Um, and Joe Liberté is going to be uh, our associate head coach, uh, and he's going to also run the O line. Defensively, uh, we're still building that staff. Uh, so, you know, we've got four coaches already in place. We're looking at two more and uh, waiting to de designate a DC. So that's that's our key focus for coach recruiting right now. Really interesting to have Brad Yamoka back on staff. He was the former head coach. Um, tell us about that. Brad's a, a Brad, very yeah. well like man. Yeah, Brad's a great guy. I've actually known Brad since 1996 when I coached him at UBC with Mark Norris. So it's, uh, it's you know, like I said, I'm getting long in the tooth when I, when I have stories like that, um, but Brad is key to, to getting you know players back. He's well liked amongst the coaches, and he's one of my best friends. So having him on staff is huge, and I think the the kids will be really excited once they hear that news too. He is uh, well known for having the ability to grow one of the quickest and best beards in the BCFC. Are you <laughs> up to the task? Uh, you know, I have problem growing hair as it is, but uh, you know, I'll do anything it takes to uh, to make him happy and make the you know do what's what, what's best for the team and. Growing a beard, I'm already halfway there. So, <laughs> so, uh, so well, thank you for doing this, Rob. Um, let's just uh, pretend you're sitting down in the living room. I'm, a, I'm a, a dad or a mom of a, a player that you're looking to recruit. What would you say to me uh, to uh, take about sending their son halfway across the country to play for you in Kamloops? Right. Well, I mean, the key thing is that we're we're family first, right? And we're we're education uh, also. So uh, we take good care of our players. We make sure that they have everything they need. Um, we got the best uh, medical facility uh, and and. Uh, support staff in, in the league, I believe, um, with our own registered nurse too. So, I mean, all the health cares are taken care of, the education is taken care of, uh, and, you know, the coaching staff, I believe, is, is one of the best I've worked with already. So, kids are going to get taught, uh, players are going to get taught and coach very well, and they're going to be well taken care of, uh, and they're going to enjoy a beautiful venue too. So, Thanks for doing this, Coach, and uh, good luck. We're looking forward to seeing you this year. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.